Uh, great people, welcome to Nemtech. And uh, today we are going to develop a weather app from scratch with uh, Django, CSS, and uh, HTML. And uh, so this is the application that we are going to design, uh, me and you. Uh, this application, I can search, for example, uh, let's say Nairobi. Then uh, when you search Nairobi, you can see it displays my uh, the temperature for Nairobi. This is like a 26, right? When you round off, then the humidity is 46. Then a description and there is a scattered clouds. Now let's try to search, for example, uh, for another country like uh, let's say um, Lagos. Let me say Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, it is in Nigeria. Then when you search, you can see the temperature in Lagos now. It is 29.57. Humidity is 70 description is overcast cloud so the application is working and uh, the back end it is saving the data in the, in the back end as you can see uh, so when you go to this uh, back end uh, the admin you can see it is in fact first of all let me clear everything so that uh, you may see it is working so let me clear everything delete now the records are just blank and then um, so let me try to add in something like uh, let's say in Nairobi and then uh, let me search you can see the temperature here it's 26.62 so you can see it's working now when you go to the back end when you refresh you'll find out that uh, you have new record here you can see for Nairobi and then uh, for example when you search for Mombasa it will display for Mombasa you can see the temperature there is 28.72 when you refresh here it also save it to the database Mombasa is now available let's try for Nakuru Nakuru it is in Kenya when you search you can see the temperature there is 24.91 humidity is 41 uh, for, Mumb uh, for Kisumu for Kisumu I will display the temperature for Kisumu, it is 27.18, humidity is here, and then um, when you refresh here, you can see it is saves automatically to the database. So everything is working fine, and, um, and this is the, this is the uh, application that we are going to develop, me and you, uh, from scratch to uh, its completion. So, uh, guys, uh, before we begin, please take a minute, subscribe, like, and share the video to your friends. And uh, the essence of this video is just to equip you how you can work with the APIs and uh, some Django skills. Now, guys, uh, without much ado, let's begin straight away. Uh, so, guys, in this project, we'll be using Django uh, on our backend. Then I shall also use uh, HTML and uh, CSS and, of course, the uh, Open Weather App API to pull data for weather uh, for the project. So uh, without much ado, guys, uh, let's just begin straight away. First of, first of all, I want to begin by checking if you have Python in our system. Remember, you need to have at least some skills on Python, Django. If you don't have, just go to the um, to this channel, then uh, to the um, Pro, to the full courses uh, playlist on the playlist section then you'll find the full courses on html css javascript and the other courses django and other courses as well however this project is just beginner based um, so at the end of it you'll be able to replicate what i'm uh, teaching here uh, you know just not that complicated so first of all, let's confirm if you, if you have Python because remember Django is a Python web framework, so you need to have Python. So open your command line tool, be it a command prompt, PowerShell, or whichever command line tool you have. Just open it. Then if you are on um, PC, you can just just type here py dash dash version. Then it will show you the version. But if you are on other operating system, I suggest you type here Python in full Python. Then a dash dash version version version. Then I will still get the version of Python. And then the other thing that I will be using is a PAP, is a package manager to install a Python modules like a Django and other stuff. So uh, we need to install these uh, packages. So uh, first of, first of all, let's check if you have PAP. That that is PAP dash dash version. PAP dash dash version, then you can see by the time I'm recording the video, the, version, the latest version is 23.2.1. If you'll be watching the video in the future, I don't know which version it will, it will be, but uh, I think uh, there won't be a big difference. 
Mm. So what I do, let me just, uh, if you don't have perhaps, let me just show you how you can install. Just go to the website python.org. Just type here um, python.org. O-R-G. O-R-O-G. O-R-G. Then uh, go to the download tab. Click on the downloads tab. Then I download for your operating system. I think it will detect automatically the operating you're using, operating system you're using. Like for mine is Windows. That's why you can, it has given me the option to install for Windows. But you can see it, you can as well install for Linux, Mac OS, or any other operating system. Now, when you install uh, Python, ensure that all boxes is checked so that you may install its dependencies like a PAP and other stuff so that... Um, when you want to install uh, modules, you won't be affected. Uh, uh, another alternative could be using the Anaconda environment. It usually comes with those stuff. So you won't strain a lot. It usually comes with the Python and other stuff if you're using Anaconda environment. But uh, for this one, uh, be sure to install a Python and uh, it will come with the PIP. So once everything is intact, we can begin the project straight away. Now for me, I always like placing the project in a particular directory. Like uh, today, I'll place it at uh, this second partition, then a web project, then I'll create here a project called uh, Weather App. I just create a new project called uh, Weather App. So, here, let me just uh, rename it um, Weather Weather App. Uh, let me just name it as a Weather App. Um, so, first of all, it was. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. So it is weather up, I guess there's no, nothing. Let me just remove this I had uh, practiced earlier. That's why I can see the, there was weather up. But uh, let me show you how you can do it. Just create a new folder called weather up or whichever name. It doesn't have to be weather up. Then I insert this weather up. If you are on PC, just navigate there. Then I highlight everything. Then it will CD to this project. So just type here uh, CMD if you are on PC. Then it will open command prompt at the current directory. If you are not on PC, let me show you another way on how you can navigate to your, um, you know, to your um, project directory. So what you do, just go to um, search bar and search for your command line tool, git bash or a command prompt or whichever command line tool. Then, uh, for instance, if uh, I just want to show you, for example, if I want to navigate to desktop or uh, uh, documents, downloads, you can just say CD, which stands for change directory. Then you can say, for instance, uh, desktop. A desktop, and then uh, it will CD to desktop. For example, if you have another folder inside that desktop, you can as well CD to that folder. But uh, because I'm using a PC and I just want to CD here, a good way is just highlight everything there, then I type here CMD. CMD, then it will open the command prompt in this uh, directory. Now, um, so because we are working on the local host, we need to create a virtual environment because um, uh, Django has to work on, a, on an environment, you know. So, uh, I want us to begin by first installing the virtual environment. Or to create the virtual environment, then we shall install um, Django in that virtual environment, and then we shall also create the project on that environment and also application and other stuff. So to create the virtual environment, we shall use a Python. Python, then a dash m if you want to install it on the current directory, and then uh, what I do, I type here v e n v the command for virtual environment v e n v, then a the uh, a virtual environment name you can give it any name for instance let me just give it e and v let me give it e and v then when you hit enter then you can see it creates another folder here called e and v it creates a folder called a e and v for uh, your environment name and but uh, remember for me i've used e and v but for you give it uh, whichever name you wish that is pleasant to you. So uh, inside the env, when you open it, there's a file called the scripts. Then inside the scripts, you have the file to activate. You can see it's activate.bat to activate the virtual environment. And then to deactivate, it is deactivate.bat. So we'll be using these files uh, most of the time. So uh, now, because we want to install uh, Django in this current environment, we need to activate it. How do you activate? To activate, just type here. Um, e and V. First of all, let me get here. 
weather app. So you can see the folder is ENV. And the folder is uh, ENV. So I want to, to CD there, ENV. Then a backslash to uh, navigate to another folder, like uh, the folder was script. Script. Actually, when you go to ENV, there's, a, there's also another folder called uh, another folder named scripts. And then I said it to have a file called activated.bat. So what I do is script, then a backslash, then uh, the file was activate dot bat you can as well leave it you can just say activate then it will work or you can just say activate dot bat when you hit enter then i will see something inside the parentheses here you are you are um, um your virtual environment name inside the parentheses at the start just know that uh, it is activated now once it's activated then we can now begin to um uh, to create to install django in this uh, environment how do you how do you install django now to install Django again, we shall use a Python. Python then a dash um, m, and uh, of course I said that we shall be using PAP to install our Python packages. So remember these two commands will tell you will tell this um, uh, or this one defines that I want to install it in the current directory. So now PAP now to install the uh, packages. PAP um, install pip install what django django then now when you just say django it will install the latest version if you want to define your version then you can just define here but uh, because i want to install the latest just type here django then when you hit enter it will install django for you uh, it may take some some time to install uh, that django and then now uh, once your Django is installed, then now we can create the project now. We can create the project. I think uh, let's just give it some seconds so that it can finish to install Django here. And then uh, once it's done, you can see successfully installed um, Django and other dependencies here. So what I do now, uh, let's now install, create the project. How do you create a project? Now, inside the Django admin, you have other commands, for example, to create projects and other stuff. Like I just type here Django admin and then i hit enter then it will it will list for you the list of commands inside that jungle for example the first one is check compile uh, compile uh, messages create catch book catch table db shell div settings dump data flash inspect db and other stuff now here i'll be using this command called a start project a start project let me copy then i hear the bottom um here at the bottom, uh, here at the bottom, I just use um, that command Django admin, and then I start project, start project, the command to start a project, then at the project name. For project name, let me just give it project. You can give it any name, but let me just call it project, uh, project. <coughs> So when you hit enter, it will create the project, but also it will create an extra folder. So we don't want that. So if you want to just create this project in the current directory, you have to add in the period here at the end. So this way it will install that project in this current directory. So when you hit enter, and then you can see now you have this project here, and this are root directory. Then we also have another file called a manage.py of which we shall be using to create, for example, application to run the server and other stuff. So uh, what I do, I now want to open this project with the code, code editor, because um, we won't be using a command line tool to write our code, so we'll be using the uh, code editor. And in this case, I'll be using Visual Studio Code. I don't know which editor you like. For example, it might be Sublime Text. It can be Atom, Brackets, Dreamweaver. I see uh, actually not uh, Notepad++ plus plus and other powerful code editor you like. But now, let me just use uh, Visual Studio Code. So I'll just type your code. When I just type your code, it will open Visual Studio Code. But if you want to open Visual Studio Code with the current project here you have to add in the period to open the current project here so when i hit enter then it will open what visual studio code here with me now let me zoom in so that at least you can see a better what i'm what i'm presenting here 
So uh, now you can see we have this file env. Then in the env you have the scripts. Then uh, for example to activate, to deactivate and, and other stuffs. So and then uh, we have this project and in the project you have the init.py, you have the asgi.py, you have settings.py, urls.py, then at w sgi.py inside this project folder. Then uh, we also have the manage.py of which, uh, of which we shall be using to uh, to create the uh, to run the servers and uh, and uh, do other stuffs. So uh, because uh, this uh, Visual Studio code it has the embedded uh, terminal, I don't want you to to, to be using this um, command line tool, this uh, command prompt externally. I just want to use an embedded terminal here inside the Visual Studio code. So how do you obtain that? So uh, when you click on this um, uh, hamburger menu here, when you go to terminal, then you can create a new terminal, or perhaps yours can be this way. It can be showing on the file here. Just click here and then I go to the terminal. Then I create a new terminal. And then, um, so basically, by default, it, it will open with a PowerShell if you are on PC. But um, if you are on, uh, so if you want to change, for example, if you don't want to use PowerShell, like for me, I don't like working with PowerShell, you can change here. You can click on this drop down. Then I change to command prompt. Now, when you change it to command prompt, you can decide to delete the other terminal here. And then now the other thing, you can see auto, it automatically activates your virtual environment. You can see it activates the virtual environment automatically. So uh, now the other thing we need to create now then, uh, we need now to create the project. Actually, we need now to create the, uh, the, the, the application, the application for this project. So uh, for uh, the application, I'll call it with the upright, so I'll use a Py or a Python. Let me use a Python because this one applies on all operating system. Python, and then um, manage dot manage dot py referencing this file manage dot py, and then uh, so for example, if you want to create a, an application, remember on Django admin we had a lot of commands. For example, if you want to create an app, we shall say startup. Is it create up or a startup? Startup. A start up then at the app name which is I can call it weather should I yeah, let me just call it weather app mm. let me just call it weather app a weather app like that then uh, let me just hit enter so that it can create that uh, application for us then you can see now we have that weather app when you open it, you can see it has other files like admin, uh, apps, models. Remember models, these are like a tables in your database. Then a test, if you want to, to test your views, um, you can use the test. Uh, views itself is to, these are the view function, to handle the request and to return the response to the clients and all that. Now admin, if you want to register your um, your models to the database actually to the to the admin of django you can register it here now um so everything is intact now we can see this application is just an independent item so we need to link it to our project how do you link it so to link uh, this weather up to your projects just go to the project then add to the settings then at the uh, at the list of installed application we can add it we can add that application here so that a Django may recognize it. So the app name was weather app. Weather app. Then I always remember to add it to end with a comma. Uh, to end it with a comma. Remember uh, uh, parameters in Python are separated with a with a comma. So it's weather app. Uh, weather app the name of our application. And then um, the other thing. Uh, we need also to configure the URLs. Uh, I don't want, for example, uh, this one is a good practice. For example, in future you might have several applications, so you don't want to congest all the URL patterns on the main on the main uh, URLs. So you might want uh, each application to have the, its uh, independent uh, URL, so that at least. Now, our project can be just an independent item, you know, project stuff. 
So how do you link it? Now Python uh, Django has um, the module called uh, include. So this include uh, package, you can uh, extend, you can include the URLs of a different application to your project um, URLs. So like uh, I can create another file in this weather app called uh, urls.py urls.py to handle the urls for this uh, weather app then uh, once you have it there then you can link the to the urls of the project remember this is the url for weather app then i have the main urls for the project now here we can in, we, we can add in the the module here called the uh, include include uh, include is already pre-installed in django uh, package to include uh, stuff, for example, URLs, you can as well use the include module. For example, if you want to, um, if you have several templates and you just want to include, the, for example, templates uh, to the main project and other stuff. So I'll show you later. But now, if you have that include, then we can add in, for example, path. Path, then I open the parentheses now because this one I want it to be like at the landing page when it, someone just type in the IP address or the domain it should land them to that application so it will be an empty string to be like at the landing then now uh, so the next thing now we have to add in the um, this include include module include then I inside the parentheses and I inside the quotes we can say for example uh, so the project was uh, the application was um, weather weather app weather app now we are targeting out the URLs to include the URLs so it is URLs it is URLs this URLs that I want to include here these are file decoder urls.py so you don't have to add the extension.py then uh, the other important thing you have to add it at the end here a comma remember i told you the parameters in python are separated with a comma otherwise you'll have issues so once you've done that then uh, we can as well do it we can as well uh, uh, have the same stuff here on the urls of uh, the application let's just paste it there but now we don't need the include and uh, again we don't need the admin uh, so let it be the way it is at the moment so uh, once everything is okay we you can run the migration so that uh, everything may be configured you know you have to run the migration to migrate the settings to your project so how do you run the migration just type here a uh, pi or a python manage dot py migrate migrate uh, migrate then uh, when you hit enter it will migrate everything here so uh, your URLs and everything now is sorted everything is um, uh, working uh, super fine now so because we'll be using the uh, the weather app API so we need to also create an account with the weather I remember for me I already have an account with them but I want to show you how you can create the open weather app um you know account with them so just go to your browser let me just use a different browser that i didn't register uh, uh create an account with them for open weather app so just type here open weather map open weather uh, map api key or something then what you do just uh, uh create a try account uh search for open yeah here it is but i think this also i uh, have the apis for weather but now I'll just go to open weather app or open weather map api here so just click on it yeah this is it then you can uh, sign in when you click on sign in there will be an option to create an account so not registered create an account so here you can type in your username for example let's say name tech a name tech uh, or a let me just say uh, let me say name tech project and uh, let me say tutorial tutorials tutorials let me just give it tutorials then the email address i created here plus on the email so let me just call it name tech portal at gmail.com 
name tech portal um portal at gmail.com password you can create any like uh, let me use uh, for example let me use a test user remember this one is an open source but uh, for you you have to use a uh, a, a, a clear password you know a strong password so let me just even in fact use this as strong password these are uh, you know suggested password then uh, of course you can uh, choose to paste it somewhere let me open the notepad you can always save it somewhere so that at least you won't forget it so let me just save it here and then now you can say i am 16 years old and over if you are 16 years old and over then you can agree with the private policy and other stuff so if you want to get updates and stuff you can click on these stuff and then uh, you can say here you are not a robot and then uh, you can select it there uh, you know these um you know these stuff here uh, traffic lights i guess this um, section has the traffic light here it has the stuff traffic light here here also and then uh, here then uh, let's try to verify yeah you're not a robot then you can go ahead and uh, create an account so the company name for example i can just say i just, can just call it name tech name tech or you can just give it your company name then uh, so this one is um i just want to obtain the weather widget for web you can select anything remember it has a lot of options here but uh, for me this one for for tutorial i just want to use it for web the widget for web then uh, click on save uh click on save and then um <laughs> you can search for whichever api you wish to have uh go to api key api key then you can see you have the api key here with you so i think they they will email you they will send you an email so it might take some time but uh, they will send you an email like you can see here, here it is or verify your email address so what i do let me just copy these uh, urls copy then i open it on the google chrome to verify the email address then uh, so it is now confirmed and then uh, you can now go to api keys and then i will see that uh, you have the api here it is working so i guess um they'll send you yeah uh, here you can see there's a uh, uh they have, they have already sent me the api keys so uh with this one we can begin now the project everything is intact we can now begin the project so uh i want us to begin by first um let me create a variable for the for the api key so that uh, at least maybe somewhere so the project and the settings they are the bottom and there the bottom i can just call it um uh, let me just call it weather uh, should i call it weather underscore api api underscore key underscore key then uh, i can assign it to that string remember your api key is a string i guess and this one is a string because it's a character of number so it will be a string so be sure to use it as a string so a string is defined with the quotes in python like that and then uh, once it is uh, done then uh, what we can do now let's um let's now go to the models and uh, begin to create the project uh to create the models actually for the for that stuff so we'll get to the weather app then uh, to the file called the models.py and show that uh, this first line of code is imported and then um here uh be sure to have this first line of code from django.db import the models to handle the models and then uh, so uh, class so class here i'll give it weather let me call it weather uh, sorry whether you can give it any name uh, and then it will be models models dot model models dot model like this and then uh end with a with a full colon a full colon like that and then i uh, saw so the first one will be location 
location uh, the field location gives that's the spelling for location then uh, here it will be model models dot character field character field then uh, the max length will be for location i guess if i give it 100 it will be better so let me give it max length to be like uh, let me give it 150 150 because i don't think there's a location that surpasses 150 characters so um and then uh, for temperature because we want to obtain the temperature also so i'll say temperature uh, temperature uh, temperature, I guess this is a spelling for temperature, right? Uh, temperature, I guess, I'm not sure. And then uh, here I can assign it to models. Models dot, um, this should be decimal field, right? Decimal field, because the temperature is, uh, can be in decimal field. And, uh, so the max length, uh, is it max length or a max digits? I guess max digits should be five. Five and then uh, the decimal places. Decimal places should be two. Let me use two at the at the moment. And now for humidity. Humidity. For humidity, this is I'm not sure. Humidity. I'll give it uh, models again. Models dots. Uh, this also should be decimal places. Let me just use uh, this one. Let me use that one, uh, decimal places again, uh, at that juncture. And then, uh, so description, perhaps some description. I'll use a description, description. The description. I'll, I'll give it um, models dot uh, text field text field and then uh, so because it's a, it's a text field we don't want to limit the character number of characters now because i want to obtain now to save it on the database like you can see now at the moment when you go to the, let me first of all create a super user let me create a super user so that you can access the admin mm -hmm. Uh, you are you can access the admin of course first of all you need to register uh, this to the admin so at uh, the admin uh, first of all let me create super user before i forget so i'll say um python manage dot py create super uh, create super user when you hit enter you can uh, give it a username for example let me call it uh, test user uh, test users let me use test users then uh, email address i can bypass then a uh, password i can call it test user one two three four again test user one two three four but uh, for you ensure that you use a strong password and no one knows it so the password is too similar to the username uh, bypass because this one is not a real one let me just bypass uh, password validation and i create a user so i'll type here why then when i hit enter then you can see super user created successfully and so what i'll do and uh, now we can try to uh, to run the server so how do you run the server to run the server you can just say pi or a python let me use python because i guess some some people are following on mac operating system or, an, or any other operating system so let me say python then uh, here i'll type here manage dot py manage dot py run server um and uh, before that uh, we need always to make migration for the models to appear on our database however let me just run and uh, see so let me open this link so this first one just to show you that uh, Django is installed and now I want us to go to the admin so remember and the URL so for admin let me get here uh, the URL to handle the admin and the project and then on the URLs you can see we have the URL for admin remember the root is for the application the root is for weather app application 
but now the admins to handle the admin you know site and the stuff you can call it whichever name but uh, default one is admin and i guess it is the recommended one so let me just say admin and then when you hit enter you can create the um you can log in with the super user account you created so i guess it was test user a test user so i guess i use test users and then the password it was um test user one two three i guess if i'm not wrong and then uh, so password again let me try test user one two three four i guess should work yeah so uh, at the moment you can see now uh, there's nothing that, that application is not registered so let's try to register let's try to register this page can i close it i guess i'll do it later so to register it you'll go to the to your application uh to your application then um to the admin admin then uh, you can uh, register it first of all we need to import the models so from from the current directory use the period from the current directory models import import um uh, we shall import what we shall import that uh, weather module import weather import weather now here we can see uh, admin dot site dot register then now we can pass here the name of the uh, the module that we want to register here which is um, weather whether i guess she should uh, let me try to check here if it will be registered here um i guess i need to run the server again oh it's admin that said has no uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. so yeah we need to run the server again so let me break then uh, let me run run the server and then uh, let me refresh and see if it will indeed work or not yeah you can see now the weather application is now registered here and then now we have um so because we did not make the migration and uh, then it won't have it won't it won't uh, display anything so we need to make migration for the database to be configured there so how do you make migration first of all break the server with control plus c here and then i'll say python uh, manage dot py then i make migration make now to when you use the command make migration it just to make django be aware that uh, there's there's a new table that you want to add it to your table to your project it just to make django aware make, make migration when you say make migration migrations it has an, an s in the end uh, when you go to the django admin then i list the a list of uh, commands you'll find that there is make migration this one is used to make migration to actually to make Django listen to the new tables that we want to add it or add the new models so when you hit enter uh, this way it will show that uh, you want to make the migration to create a model weather and then uh, from the application weather app so once you are done that that's just to make uh, Django be aware that uh, there's a new table that I want to include but uh, it doesn't add it to your project so once you made it aware you can run the python python manage.py manage.py migrate uh, migrate uh, python manage.py migrate now to uh, now this one apply the changes this one will apply the changes now when you go back to your project when you refresh so first of all we need to uh, run the server all the time if you want to check anything we have to run the server and uh, by the way we can create also another terminal so this one to be an open server or this one to be open to run the server and then the other one to write the codes but uh, there's no need at the moment but uh, let me refresh once again and then now we can see when i click on weather uh, it now opens this tab there's no error 
so here you can add in the weather like uh, let's say location location let me say an aerobic temperature let's say give it 20 what point something degrees then humidity let me give it um uh 67 or whichever then a description here let me say description a description a description yeah something like that then uh, let's try to sell then um so you can see now at the moment it it, it creates it as a weather object weather object we don't want to have this name so and then now uh, it automatically added the the what the um, you know at the decimal right so uh so i don't want to have this uh, weather stuff so to override that stuff we have the to, to, we have to change the string representation of that object so in that case we have to use this uh this command in this uh str function we have to define it then uh, dash dash str uh str like this not here not that uh this one yeah this one and then now uh, here we want to have this uh, location is our is our um, is our to stand for the name that object so instead of um weather object i want it to replay to to say something like uh, for example nairobi to display nairobi so that when you click on nairobi you can find the data of, of nairobi so here i say instead of name name is a default one but you can see a uh, location let me use a location like this then you can run the server again let me refresh then you'll see it will, it will display here nairobi if you added nairobi then you can see now it is nairobi let's try with something else like um uh let's say angola angola temperature let me give it um 13 humidity let me give it a uh, 40 you know this is just for guesswork then uh, uh you know description description and then when you save it will be angola to display angola here yeah. so you can see it displays angola so this was just a by the way now um we now need to create the views to handle these um and these are uh, uh, the weather the weather apis and then also we shall create the urls to handle it so um so let me in fact let me close minimize this section so that uh, it may not complicate you now once again go to the your application which is weather app uh, mine was weather app i don't know which name you gave it for your project and then i will create the views remember the views these are the request handlers these are the these are responsible to handle the request from the users and also to, re, to return the, re, the response for example someone has requested a certain resource for example someone wants to obtain the the page for example a contact page so basically when they click on the link then um uh, the request will be sent to this uh, django uh, Django views then uh, views the relevant uh, basically Django will look for the relevant views then uh, in that views it will find for example if there's um models you know the models that it want to uh, if if the website is dy dynamic or something or uh, basically if it want to return a particular template then it will look for that template then it will return it to the user so that they can be able to see that uh, resource they requested so this is just a request handle i guess by now you understand these terms uh, because i assume that uh, you had some knowledge on uh, django so uh, first of all uh, because uh, i will be using the request we need to install a request here again we shall use a pip so py python Python then a PIP install request request uh, request is it requests yeah requests like that and then uh, so it will install uh, the, those uh, request uh, modules and then also we need to install a uh, bootstrap for I'll use a bootstrap for install uh, bootstrap for i guess yeah for so uh, it has installed up a stop for then i guess we can uh, we shall configure the settings later but now at the moment let's now create the views so first of all we we'll import the request module request 
request I remember we ju we we've just installed so i think at the best way let me remove this part here at the top so first of all you can import this render because we'll be using the render to render the templates and the stuff and then uh, so the next thing we need also to import that module so from uh, from the current directory models import uh, import uh, weather remember the module that we just created called the uh, weather and then uh, also because uh, we want to use the uh, we want to use um, want to use this API from the settings so it's a project then uh, settings here at the bottom we have the API key so we need to import the settings here so that we may be used to we may be able to use the API so I say from uh, from Django from Django dot uh, con uh, it should be config uh, con from Django con uh, import import what import uh, settings import settings is it your yeah, settings so uh, now we can create now the function for home so div this one will just be a, a single page right I guess it will just be a single page then a home or I shall create extra page later so for home then I here we shall pass here request request remember this this request and a request request is the module uh, you know as a package but a request this one is just um you know a function an inbuilt function here to handle the request but now request this one is an external module so this is request to handle the request we shall pass here the request from the user for example if they request something now here um whether data whether um whether underscore data by default data by default i'll give it none i'll give it none by default and then now um so if request if request uh if uh, request if request dot method uh sorry if request dot method uh, that method is a post now we use this equal operator these two equal operator now to equate but now when you just use a single operator like uh, this one it means that uh, you are equating uh, you are assigning this none to this uh, variable whether data when you just single equal operator it means that uh, you are you are assigning this one is for assignment this one it means that you are assigning this uh this right value the right hand side values to the left so this one is assignment but when you use two equal operator it means that you are equating so if request dot method equals now equals to post post equals to post we shall uh, configure the templates later uh, if it's post then a location a location location it will be a request requests uh, request dot post dot post and then um, no should be capital post and then uh, here we shall pass here and the location location I remember it should be the same with what you had there the models when you are creating the models then at the API key api api underscore key i'll assign here to the that variable that we used here so let me get to the settings or settings here then at this um variable let me use it remember we have already imported these settings here at the top here at the top we already imported these settings so here I just place the variable so this variable will be the container for that uh, values for the API key. So this is the. Um, no, first of all, you have to begin with the settings. Should be settings and then a dot weather API key. Weather API key. So now we can make a request to the weather API, which is um, 
weather app, right? It is a weather app. So our response, our response, our response, I'll give it to request, a request, and then uh, we need to get the end point here. So first of all, now uh, get, then I inside this get, I'll use here the, this string. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what should I use? Yeah, let me use, a, let me use a, this string here. But now I'll copy here the end point. Now on your email, just go to on your email then, uh, ensure that uh, you copy what you copy this part. Ensure that you copy what you copy this um this full URL. The uh, this one is used now to call now the the API. So let me just copy this part. Let me copy and then uh, I'll paste here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then uh, let me just remove this section up to here. And then I remember it should begin with a HTTP, HTTP, um, HTTP. Then uh, these two have uh, first slashes like that. Then uh, API, and then uh, open weather. Then uh, this is your endpoint. And then um, and this is um, Q. Then uh, here now you are assigning to the weather variable, so it will pull data from the model so it will be dynamic so here i'll pass your location location here to from the database and then uh, the other thing it will be and uh, it will be in the um, app id app uh, id of which the app id will be uh, app ID will be that API key. So inside the parentheses, the uh, the curly braces, we'll use the API API key variable, which is now the container for this uh, um for this uh API key, which is this uh, API. This is the variable for our API key. Uh, API key, and then now uh, the other thing should be end um um. <laughs> So it should be end and then uh, also it should be now units 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 will be metric uh, it will be metric for units may metric i guess everything is fine up to that point and then now um let's add in another logic another conditions here so i'll say i'll use here now um a nested if uh, let me use a nested if here. So I'll say if response if response dot status if response dot status underscore code is um if response dot status underscore code it will be what it will be. Let me use give it two hundred and then um. Then a data, a data it will be response dot json the dot json and then uh, and then also temperature uh, temperature what temperature is it that's present for temperature right? Uh, I guess temperature it will be data and then uh, here i'll pass here what here i'll pass here mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'll pass here main i'll pass here main then also uh, i'll pass here also temp for temperature and the temperature so if you are uh, if you are unsure about this stuff you can find the documentation of this open weather uh, map um you can find the documentation so that you may be sure how you can use these uh, uh values here very well but uh humidity 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 i'll assign here to um uh so let me use this one 
Geminity allows in here to what data? Uh, oh, sorry, should be just one data here, but now here should be humidity. Humidity, uh, humidity. I guess this is spelling for humidity, and then a description. Description. Uh, description. It will be data. And then uh, here it will be weather, I'll pass here weather, weather, and then um, <laughs> so weather and then uh, by default it will be zero first of all, and then I uh, also to display now the description, the description, remember it is a string so it should be inside the, the quotes, remember how strings are defined in Python, and then um, we need to save these stuffs in the database as well. So how do you save it? So to save to the database, we shall use um um <laughs> so let me create a variable. So let me just call it weather. Remember this weather is not equivalent to the model. You can see the, the model was weather, but now this one is weather with a small uh, with what with a small w remember Python is case sensitive. So this one is a different stuff So it's weather and then uh, here I'll assign here to uh, Here I'll assign here to weather model Weather uh, Weather and then I dot objects Objects dot all dot all objects and then uh, um <laughs> no it should be first of all create because we want to create now uh, the object and save it to the database so it will be create right it will be create uh, it will be create and then uh, inside the parentheses now you can pass in the new models to be created in the database to save it to the database so the first one will be location now for location to be location location Location. Uh, remember parameter separated with the semicolon, and then uh, sorry, yeah, location here is uh, common. And then a temperature. I uh, will give it uh, temperature. Comma for humidity. Humidity will assign here to humidity. Humidity, and then uh, description. Description will be description. Remember to separate parameters with a with a with a with a, with a, with a comma right like that. Even here, then now to save it to the database, the uh, to the database we have to use this um uh, method weather weather which stand for this weather above here weather now dot save method to save it to the database to commit changes to the data, database. And then now here, I'll say um, weather data, weather, sorry, weather underscore data, let's create a variable to handle that. It will be, it will be what? It will be weather, mm, weather, and then I dot objects objects and then i just want to pull out the all the objects so i say all and then uh so um so once it has uh, once you have this variable then now we can say return return then i want to use the render module remember we have we imported here at the, at the top first of all ensure that you have this file before you use it here at the bottom so this is render to render the uh, i want it to render the request from the user request a request and then also I want it to render I'll get another template called uh, weather I'll call it weather mm, it should be inside the strings I'll get another template called uh, weather dot html weather dot html mm, weather dot html and then also we need to pass the context here also so uh, separate here with a com colon then uh, here we need to pass the context 
and so it will be weather data inside the quotes it will be weather in fact let me just copy it here uh, we shall pass here weather data uh, of which uh, weather data will be uh, weather data it will be weather weather data yeah i guess um uh it's fine yeah it's fine yeah so uh now the next thing now we need to create now the template right we need to create now these templates and i remember first of all let me again uh, let me again uh close this stuff so that uh, you may not be confused in fact this one now once again uh, I'll, I'll go to this application then i'll create a file called templates now for templates i want it to be uh, just at the root now to add the templates here the root sorry uh you have to click somewhere here outside so that i may be able to create the template here so it will be templates template to handle the templates but uh, you know now by default django uh for template it usually place it on the on the application folder so if you use uh, templates outside the application then you need to configure also the settings so that it may understand where the templates are stored so you got the settings and then um, here are the templates you need to change the directory here are the templates you can see here are the documentation here at the top where was it here so you can see build parts inside the projects like this if you want to use it inside the project or application um, so inside the project you have to use this uh, base then uh, uh, the sub there so i'll go to this one then inside these are uh, uh, inside these are uh, square brackets i'll add it here but now here i'll change here to templates it should tally the name should be match should be match should match so it should, should should be templates should be templates like that and then now uh, once you have that template then uh, this is a template folder you can now begin to create your templates for example let's say call it let's call it weather dot html weather.html remember on the views on the views we define it as a weather.html where the views yeah you can see we define it as weather.html remember the name should be equivalent should be should match then i here let's try to get something mm, let's change the language mode from django html to standard html by clicking there then i type in html then i hit in enter then you can see the language mode is switched to now standard html then you can now begin to generate the snippets then uh, so let's say weather app let's call it weather app and then uh, let me just use a, a h3 to show that it's working let's say it's it's working it's working and then now uh, we can rerun the server and see first of all the uh, if it's working or not so let's run uh, let us run now we need to configure also the urls so the url patterns to handle the home views so you can see the views we had we define these views as home so we'll go to these urls and then now we need to import also the view so from the current directory which is the weather app uh, views 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 and then uh, our views redefining what this file called the views dot py but uh, now you don't have to add in the view dot py uh, and then uh, import import what import home 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 is this view why the views now home is this view called home so ensure that i uh, use it uh, very well so it's home then now here you can create now the pattern so path path here by default it will be an empty and then um so the name of the view it is home and then um uh, so the name because i'll use it on the html so i'll, I'll have to say name and that is not a must name i'll use what home again let everything to be home then uh, we can do what we can uh, run again refresh and then it should work 
Uh, so guys, you can see now at the moment, uh, here there's an error, the view weather app that views home in return an HTTP response, it returned none instead. And then you can see the, this stuff. So we need to configure now the templates. So first of all, we want to create now the, let me close again so that I may not confuse you. Uh, so that it means now I'm at the template file. Then I'm going to create another file called uh, base. Then I shall extend to other templates. So base.html, base.html. And then in this base, I'll copy these files from weather. Mm, so let me just copy. And then now here I'll paste it here. But now here the title, it should be a variable, right? It should be just a variable. So I'll use here block, uh, block, mm, then I'll use title, this is the block for title, and this is a Django tag, this will be block for title, like uh, the variable or the placeholder for title, so that in other templates, remember we might have several templates, so you don't have, want to have a same title and then you extend to other templates, for example, the other one could be contacts, so you don't want the title to be um the same as for example the about or a home so having the variable here to help us and then uh, the other thing we need also to have the uh the content block so block content so block here it will be for content now or you can use another name for content then i will this one will be will carry the the content you know the data for content so now here at the top, I'd want to add in the navigation items uh, because this one will extend to other templates. So I'll cut here just, um, let me just change language mode to standard HTML. Uh, standard HTML, then I here I'll say, um, let me create a comment here and then I'll let me say nav uh, section. Nav section. And then uh, so I'll use here nav. Remember nav is semantic, so I'll say nav. Nav dot uh, nav dot what nav dot um, container. Let me use a container. Or uh, I think I think here I'll use uh, the bootstrap. Let me just use bootstrap. I think it is much easier other than you know coding and all that so i'll go to this website called uh, get bootstrap.com get bootstrap.com and then uh, here i'll go to the documentation and then uh, because i want to use it as a cdn i'll have to copy the css part here let me copy the css and then uh, here at the top uh, here at the top i'll do it i'll say uh, so this one is a link for styling, so it should be linked. Then uh, the hyper reference, I'll paste here, that file. Then uh, the source, another one for script. So for script, I'll add here at the bottom. So it will be script with this CRC attribute. Script with the CRC attribute. And then I shall also copy this as CDN for JavaScript. There you can, uh, you can as well install those are files but uh, for me just let me just use the cdn so that uh, we may not have a lot of or have a lot of stuffs uh, so uh, now so once we have these files so let me just arrange them well so once we have this file here then now uh, we can definitely begin to add in there now i want to add in what the navigation bar from bootstrap so I'll get down here and then I find where there's a now bar. Let me find where there's now bar. Here it is. Now bar. Then I'll scroll down and then I see the now bar here. So let me just copy this now bar. Uh, now bar. And then what I do, let me just uh, paste it there. i paste it there. But now we don't need the form. We don't need the form and also we don't need uh, this stuff for disable we don't need it and then now uh, we also don't need uh, the drop down right we don't need the drop down we don't need the drop down drop down and then uh, here we just need the home uh, home and then uh, this one will be for about uh, this one will be for about about us about then uh, let me add in another one for conduct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let 
me add in another one for conduct. 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 Yeah, conduct. Then I here at the bottom I can add, I can add in the footer. Here at the bottom I can add in the footer. Footer and then uh, I'll use the corporate message here. Uh, copy twenty twenty three. And then um, all rights reserved. Are reserved. Are reserved. Reserved. For example, I can say corporate here. Yeah. Copyrights. Twenty twenty three. All right, reserved. Then I develop by name tag. So let me see. Developed by name tag. So for name tag, I'll use an, an anger tag. Then I here I'll type here HTTPS. Uh, name tag dot com. So that you cannot copy this uh, this stuff here. You know. Uh, so that I think I may get the all the credit here. <laughs> so here I'll use what I'll use now the the developed developed by Nemtech. Nemtech, yeah, Nemtech like that. Nemtech, Nemtech should be Nemtech. So I think the footer and the, the header could be fine. We shall style it later. But now at the moment I want to use now the you want to extend to the weather.html. How do you extend? So I uh, will use this module called. Uh, first of all, we need to import also the statics because um, do, shall we use the statics? I guess I guess we shall use the statics. So we have to import here the top file called the statics. Mm -hmm. Here the top. <sighs> we'll use a file called the static. Uh, we will have to load the static so let's change the language mode to Django Django HTML and then uh, here we we'll say load static should load the static remember the static we shall also add the static folder here are the application in fact let me just do it now and this application I'll add in the static now this static this is why you can place in your CSS file your JavaScript file your images and, the, and other steps this static folder so um so once you have it you can add in the css for example let me just add in the main main dot css main dot css and then uh, once you have that file css then uh, you can as well let me create a body and just just test if it's working or not body and then i uh, here add in the background color I'll give it uh, even brown just to test if it's, it will be working. So here the base. Now once you have the static, you can add it here. Uh, sorry, uh, let me just find how I can. Let me add in the static here. Let me add it wherever it is, provided it's between these head tags. So let me just say, uh, let me change the language mode here to uh, HTML. And then uh, here you can say link. And then here it will be now you define it in a young way use these two braces and then here you say uh two percent and then here it should be now static static folder and then uh, the file name is the file name is um main dot css main dot css so once you have that file then you can configure the CSS and all that but now I want to extend this stuff now to the remember this now is the main this is the home uh, template so first of all we need to extend we need to extend we need to extend um, this file called uh, uh, base base.html we need to extend this base.html so that we may have the content from the base extended to this uh, file so um so now when you go here you'll find that you have the files here 
you will have the files there at the moment it will display the error because uh, we need to configure now the templates but it will it could display now the 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 files therein but now uh let's now i think let's now configure we should also load the static load the um static and again for the title it should be block uh title then our title here to be home home weather app home weather app then at the content uh, should be block block then a content block content we are referring to this file these are uh, this stuff here block content in fact let me just copy so that uh, i may be sure i've reused the exact name so it is block content yeah block content like that now anything that you want to be displayed on that page should be here uh, that one should be uh, you know uh, that one should be here so uh, I think now I can create something here um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so here I can just say for example let me just um, so here I can just use a h1 let me, let me change the language mode to standard HTML HTML and then uh, here let me just create a h1 we shall um, style it later in details so let me use a h2 then I here say um, find uh, the weather condition 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 uh, condition in your uh, wherever let me say wherever find weather condition wherever then uh, here we shall use now the um, the form I'll use here the form so I'll say form form now the action uh, so the um, should we use the action no let me just use the method instead of action let me just say method so method it will be post remember here the views we used post also remember how we defined our our files there and then we need to add in the C, uh, csrf token so in that way i just use the django django html and to add that CS, csrf token and so that you add it to prevent the cross browser you know form validation so and then um, the other thing we can add in now the label so uh, let me say label uh, first of all let me change here to switch to standard html then i say label then uh, this one will be the label for location this will be the label for location then uh, uh, the name will be and uh, and the location here and the, the location location for example to search the weather to search to search weather weather condition uh, weather condition uh, condition and then uh, we can add in now the form uh, you know the the the, the, imp the input so it will be input uh, input type will be um, hmm, it will be text then ID remember ID should match with the label there's a label keyword you used here location so it should be ID ID then uh, this ID will use location and this location and here should be the same and I the, the other the one used on the model so location uh, location and then uh, so I'll also add in the button for submit so button so type well, first of all the label the name is to be submit uh, submit is it submit or search let me use search let me use search and then I uh, here at the button uh, the type here should be type should be submit 
So the type here should be submit. And then now let's add in now uh, outside this form. Let's add in something called uh, like uh, let me use again H2. H2. Then I say here, um, here is the weather, weather information. Uh, here is the weather information for for the searched for the searched for the searched is it searched location searched location and then um so so for searched location and then um <laughs> i'll use uh, i'll use uh, i'll use here the another list so let me just use ul ul and then um so here the first thing it will be a variable use a variable so percent percent you know not really percent but braces first of all then a two percent um mm -hmm, two percent and then uh, here i'll say um uh, for weather because i will use now that so let me say for weather in because this one I want, I want it to pull from the database for weather in weather data remember here the views let me get to the views uh we used to weather data is our context uh let me find it so uh, it's here so let me just copy this part uh, let me just copy that part uh, for weather uh, data and then uh, what i do let me just past sorry let me pass it uh, here the for weather in uh, weather data for weather in weather data remember it has need to have the percent here at the end percent to close it closing percent this is how you define the jungle variable and then now here because we want to loop it but now we want to obtain specific files so i'll use here now the li uh, li then uh, here to define variables or uh, variables in django used to braces like that and then uh, here we say weather weather and then um weather dot uh weather dot location weather dot location and then uh, so here I'll say temperature location so this should be <laughs> let me assign here to temperature so I'll say let me see temperature uh, so it should be temperature temperature uh, so temperature so temperature and then uh, the other one should be for humidity uh, the other one should be for humidity so I'll use again inside this uh, inside this um, these are uh, you uh, this li a lot in here also for temperatures and other stuff so i'll say weather i say weather weather dot temperature dot temperature weather dot temperature and then um so this would be for these are temperature uh, temperature and then uh, what else temperature and then uh, also we shall add in for humidity so for temperature it will be in degrees celsius so let me just find where there's that small o um for degrees celsius where can i find that something <laughs> to display the degrees the degrees the degrees so uh in fact let me just go to the browser and then I search for degrees degrees symbol degree symbol yeah because I can't find it on keyboard so I guess um let me find the degree symbol uh, alt then uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I just want to find what 
I just want to find um yeah here it is yeah let me find this uh, degree symbol here and then I'll use it I'll place it there and then uh, Celsius Celsius then a uh, humidity humidity it will be what if a humidity it will be again two variables weather dot humidity 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 uh, humidity and then um, so for humidity it will be um, percent right for humidity it will be percent and then uh, comma description description so for description it will be uh, it will be weather dot uh, description description I remember we are pulling from the database uh, on the views we had these values here you can see we have location temperature humidity and uh, description so I'm, I'm hoping everything is fine so let me just try to make um, you know so this way it gives uh, everything is fine so whether location will display for example Nairobi then a temperature will be uh, temperature will be for example the obtained temperature then the humidity will be the weather humidity uh, humidity so remember the variable should be it was h small h humidity this way it won't give it uh, it won't give you know and then also for temperature should be small t I remember python is case sensitive you have to use the exact names for it to work so i guess everything up to that uh, point is fine and then um so for empty for empty to display what so for empty it'll say percent percent uh, braces first of all then a uh, percent and then uh, so this one will be empty empty to display empty or none by default and then it will show no weather condition so i'll use now the li mm, i'll use here the li and then it will say it will say um no weather condition condition no other condition no other data available 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 try try searching location try searching location try searching location then uh, uh, so let me just say uh, this way then uh, let's now uh, end for this four uh, this four we have to end it this is how you end it in Django so I'll say end uh, should be end uh, this should be end for so um, we begin with the two braces uh, to pair, actually not a pair is two braces open and closing then a percent two percent then in between you add in the end form you add in the end form and then uh, remember to close the ul like this and then i hope everything is fine uh, by the way here at the bottom this space should be removed these are uh, indentation these are uh, space white space should be removed like that let's try again and see if it will work or not um still it will give us the error mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's, let me just go through everything and uh, see where the problem actually is then i shall try to uh remember these are second these are two stuff these two file lines should be in line i uh, shall be in line with the first if with this are first if statement here like that then uh, let's again uh, try 
yeah you can see now it's working yeah it's working so this is nairobi and angola these are the values that we had uh, defined in our database earlier let me just go there and uh, clear everything let me minimize this section uh, let me minimize uh, before that let me just try to see if it can give us the weather condition so let me try for example let me say nakuru nakuru then uh, let me search and then uh, so multi-value key dictionary error at mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> location is fine i guess uh, location location is fine location it should be fine and then um, location location yeah so location should be fine and then uh, so what i do let me try again to try to uh, search or basically the form had an issue let me try to check it out so the CR csrf token is there and then um and the location and then at the id location is fine i guess oh we should also use the um, the name i forgot we should also use the name because uh, uh the name is what you define it there the model so here i should have used id and also the name so that it may pull on the other side so name should also be location location a location so let's try again uh, let me uh, so let me let me refresh let me just uh, do something let me just uh, break this up and then I rerun and then uh, let me refresh once again uh, so it was uh, Nairobi let me search for Nairobi then I search uh, so guys uh, you can see here there's a there's this uh, problem the blsj request object has not to be oh so guys i think uh, the request method that i will use to remember these requests and also so go to the views and then uh, so let's find uh, here the respond it should be requests so remember you have request and a request requests we have this uh this is a python module a request in build then a request is what we downloaded earlier so well, once again let's try let's try again and uh, refresh yeah so you can see now nairobi the temperature you can see it's here now let me try again to search for let's say uh, let me say uh, mombasa mombasa it is in kenya mombasa then uh, let me try to search for it and then uh, you can see now the wet temperature from Mombasa temperature is 28.7 then as you made it is 21.7 now let's check it on the database if it's there uh, so on the database I'll say 127 is the alert for local host and then uh, admin the admin and then uh, for weather when you click on weather you can see now we have the data here for example for i have just searched for Mombasa you can see the temperature here you can see the description is scattered clouds scattered clouds there in mombasa and uh, stuff so everything is working perhaps if i can just tell the stuff and all that so that uh, our css can work well so i guess the css is not working by the way the functionality and everything is working fine in fact let me remove remove this part remove this section as well and then uh, what i do let me go to the project then a static uh, static then a, the file let me use a styles style style styles I should be style styles uh, the CSS and then uh, to the templates to the templates at the base I'll use again styles here styles uh, that css um styles that css in fact this one let me use uh just after the bootstrap so that uh, it may not be overwritten by the bootstrap styling let me just try to scroll uh, let me paste it there styles i guess uh, the names are fine now let me once again try to check if it's working 
yeah you can see it's working uh, the CSS that part for CSS is working so now I want to style this um, navigation let me create let me wrap let me wrap this stuff inside the section so let me just create here a section section in short first of all language mode is HTML then uh, here I'll use a section section then uh, I'll close everything here with the section then uh, the CSS let me use a section section then uh, let's check because I don't want it to affect the number stuff and then um, mm -hmm. so we can add in more styling here we can add in more styling uh, here so what I'll do let me just but then let me try for example for Nairobi because uh, Nairobi when you search then I can see the temperature here at Nairobi but then let me try to see if it tallies with what other API provides so let me just try with the so you can see here Nairobi it is 26 degrees Celsius then uh, partly sunny let me go to check forecast and then I shall uh, check which I'll compare so you can see it is 26 degrees Celsius and then um, humidity is 44 percent let's compare uh, so you can see it is uh, 25 when you round off it is 26 it's almost the same then the humidity is 44 percent let's check here it was um, uh, so here the humidity is uh, also 44 percent and then a uh, cloud sailing and then uh, so yeah guys it's almost the same so at this juncture i think i'll just uh, add in the css tailing and I shall, I shall end the video or perhaps if i can add in the background here i can add in the background um, let me add in the section let me add in the um, so here should be margin let me use a margin margin and then now what is um uh, margin should be that way and then a border radius so background first of all background color i'll give it i'll give it which color let me use a different color here like a um, corn silk corn silk whichever color it is then uh, let me add in the border radius border radius i'll give it 20 pixel by zero then i'll add in the border so border border um, border should be you no know, two pixel solid and then which color black let me use a black and then uh, let's check let's compare let's uh, just uh, check we can add in also the padding padding uh, so for padding i'll give it uh, 20 pixel mm. so for padding i'll give it um uh, 20 pixel yeah i guess 20 pixel is fine then um yeah padding is 20 pixel and then i guess also for this photo i can add in the the, the margin and a padding for the footer and also align it at the center so the uh, the class was footer the um, yeah it's footer so let me use a footer uh, we, we don't want to add in complex style in here so let me say dot footer Photo and then in this photo I'll add in the background. So background color should be black. You can give it whichever color you wish. Then um, margin. Uh, no, no, not margin. Padding. Padding. I'll give it. A uh, padding. I'll give it uh, 40 pixel. And uh, of course, I can add in the horizontal line here. I'll add in the HR. Uh, let me add in the HR here. So HR. So um. So let me use a span here. Span. Let me use a span. So 
span and then uh, here at the end also let me add in the span 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 like that and then uh, so this is the closing for span and then uh, let me now add in the horizontal line hr to add in the horizontal line so first of all it should be inside hr like this to add in the horizontal line then uh, so color color should be white color should be white um, let me refresh and see uh, the response yeah it's fine then i can align this stuff at the center so the span i'll align it at the center so it's footer Foot and then a uh, foot and then a uh, mm -hmm, HR HR then alignment text align should be sender text align should be sender um, for this HR no um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, text align should be at the center I don't know why it's not uh, not here, yeah, it should be now span. Sorry, it should be span. But uh, let me just use here text align here at the top. Let me just you add in that property uh, text align to be sender so that everything may be uh, centered. Yeah, so everything is now centered. Yeah, everything is fine. Now, this part for the heading, and let me just try to. Uh, to do it let me just let me try to add in the um, you know the proper cell in here so i think i'll change the background to be something else so um <laughs> let me use a danger or a warning let me use a warning uh, let me use danger instead or uh, basically the best thing let me just use the number and then i still color everything so add in the background so dot number then a background color i'll use um, black let me just use black then a color a color color should be a uh, black color should be what color should be black uh, uh, white not not black should be white mm -hmm. let's check so the text color it is not too white because uh, it's at uh, the anger tag so let me just uh, so now but then uh, anger tag anger tag so color color should be white yeah color should be white then uh, for active let me remove that active thing because i want everything to be uh, similar so uh, let me remove that active for the home part so let me remove this class active because I want the, all, all of the stuff to have the same uh, style, you know. So uh, it's fine. And then when you hover, when you hover, I, I want to change something to something else, like uh, the color should be, color should be yellow or a green. Uh, no, it should be first of all have, <laughs> sorry hover then a color should be green green then a transition transition will be uh, 0.2 seconds is in all I'll use a all all 0.3 seconds is in um, hmm. Now, so guys, the other thing I want us to have a different uh, style in here or um, the display for the description, actually for the description, data description here at the bottom. So what I'll do, let me just uh, change, change the background for the display here for the user part here. So I think I'll go to the UL. I'll go to, so it is a uh, UL. Yeah, it's UL, just UL. So I'll go to um so it's ul section 
then a dot ul second then a another list ul then a, i'll give it a background color background color will just be white i'll use white um and then um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then uh, padding. Let me let me just try to see if it will be fine. Let me just check it out. Yeah. So and then uh, here I can change the here I can change the border. So the border color should be something like um, let's use even green. Green. We are not doing it perfectly. The the big thing is just functionality here. The main thing is just the functionality. And also for these are buttons, we can as well um, yeah, tell it. So for button uh, form, it is form. Yeah, it's form. Then a uh, button. So it is um. So it's form. And, uh, it's form. Form. Uh, form button. But right, let me just use because they are they are just so I'll use uh, input. I'll use uh, input comma and then also button button. I'll give it um. Uh, let me just tell the button first of all. Button. I'll give it a uh, border none. Border will be none. Model it will be none. And then a uh, padding. A uh, padding it will be twenty. Uh, it will be fifteen images of um here it should be seven pixel by ten pixel or a fifteen pixel. Then a uh, background should be. Let me just first of all check. Yeah, this is fine. And then now. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What I will add here is the also for this uh, input. I guess I should also add in the input. Let me refresh. And then uh, so we can add in. I can add in the the border. Let me just add in the border um, border radius. So not border radius so for border i think i can just use here mm -hmm. or a border radius before then border radius let me give it 10 and let me give it a uh, 5 pixel so for border it will be green let me use a green i don't know if it will work uh, so it will be 2 pixel 2 pixel solid green Yeah, two pixels solid green, and then um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess uh, this part is fine. And then uh, so let me just again go to the weather, and then uh, because the data are too much, I just uh, delete everything here, so that at least we may have a uh, small data. Of course, you can modify. <laughs> Oh, did, did I delete? Yeah, no, I forgot. I should have deleted. And then, uh, so uh, now I think we have few records. Yeah, we have now few records here uh, for Nairobi. When you refresh, I think the value is here. Let me try. Uh, let me try uh, Kenya. Let me just say Kenya overall. Though Kenya, it is a 26 overall general. But if you want to have us for a specific, like, like uh, let's say Namibia uh, or uh, let's say Lagos, then uh, when you search, you'll obtain the temperature for Lagos, then uh, overall uh, overcast clouds and the stuff. So the humidity there is uh, 70 degrees, and then the temperature is this one. Uh, now, what is um, shocking me here in this part? Because I'd want to steal this tab, but it's failing. So what I'll do, let me just create two main containers here, the CSS. 
Uh, so let me just create two main containers here the base I had created this one earlier but uh, let me just remove so this is where the app stuff mm -hmm. I'll cut so it's weather fluid and then um, let me minimize this section mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so it's weather fluid and then uh, so here lad in the container here so let me just say uh, dot dot card dot uh, card or alternatively let me just see now by brand how many divs do I have here is uh, this one Now I think so. Um, so let me just say here align items. Um, style, let me use an internal style here. So I say align items. So, because I want to use. Uh, because I don't want to use here now the I don't want to use this uh, fluid uh, container so here to, let me just use it as a card so that card I mean remember booster up it has its default default styling so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now this is for Yeah, also let me just cut here for the number item. Uh, sorry, I should have copied. Then uh, let me just paste it here. And then uh, this one should be, let me cut. Then uh, this one should be just after this button. Button. Then again, uh, let me just copy this part. For now, bar collapse. Let me just do this. Let me just paste it there, and then uh, I'll close just after this uh, second div here. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess it's fine. Now, what I do now? Let me just use this uh, fluid container. This part. then uh, uh, here the CSS because I don't want to align them this way so um, display should be flex then a flex up uh, not flex up should be uh, justify content should be space between let me now check and see uh, if it will work or not here. Yeah. So this is what I wanted. You can see now they are aligned um, This part. Let me try to see But uh, this background is not that pleasing. So background for the now bar. Let me just change to a different color or a lighter, lighter color somehow not that dark or uh, let me use green Let me just use a uh, green uh, then uh, so guys, uh, this is what I wanted to show you and I guess you've understood how it works. And uh, guys, until next time, this is Nehemiah. Goodbye. Thank you.